after seeing Nigel Benn win the WBC version of the title, Chris Eubank was in action at the Manchester GMEX, putting his WBO belt on the line against Juan Carlos Jimenez of Paraguay. The pundits were already setting up the prospect of a Ben eubank rematch, but first the champion had to dispose of the South American. Eubank making the fifth defence of his title in just seven months. Barry McGuigan and David Brenner were at ringside. Well, let's set the scene. You're watching the WBO Super Middleweight Championship of the World. It's live on Screen Sport. You're watching Pro Box. David Brenner, Barry McGuigan with you live at the ringside. The GMAX in Manchester. Eubank, champion of the world in the yellow trunks. His challenger, Juan Carlos Jimenez, from Asuncion, Paraguay, in the red. This is 12 rounds boxing. The referee, Steve Smoga from the United States. Round one. Paraguay is very solid looking. The upper body area, very strong looking. But shorter. And he must be outlaid by you by considerably. But if he comes forward, this could be an exciting and entertaining fight. sizing each other up at the moment. You've been looking at his chest and sort of navel high. about the boxing gloves they're wearing. They're wearing the Reyes Mexican gloves, which are renowned as punchers gloves, Barry. Yeah, and the cut, and the cut as well. They're, uh, they're, they're filled with horsehair, unlike the British gloves that are filled with foam. Um, the, the British gloves use closed cell foam. The, Amer the Americans or Mexican gloves use horsehair uh, with a combination of foam. So they're certainly suited to a guy that can dig. We know that Eubank can dig. Yeah, it's a fairly lackluster opening round. They're just sort of sizing each other up, and Eubank turning that big sweep and right. Nothing snappy or effective from either boxer at the moment. Oh, clash of head for Minute left of the opening round. This guy is just tailor-made for you, Banks. He's walking in here nice and slowly. It's just perfect to put on a good display against. Nice quick combinations. Smack that left jab in. And bounce the right hand off his chin. And he's loading up you, Banks. There's, there's no feeling punches here at all. He's just taking it fairly easy at the moment. With the champion's corner, Ronnie Davis, his long-time trainer. It's a unique partnership, the two of them, helping out in the corner. Freddie King, Jason King, team, what have become the Team Eubank colours now, scarlet, yellow. Fairly even, nothing much done from either boxer. 
So we're in round two of the scheduled 12 rounder. Heads getting a little close together. Maybe Steve Smoger should have a little word with them. Now Jimenez says he's going to keep all over Eubank like a rash. And I suppose as good a way as any to beat him is to try and test the stamina, push him and push him and push him. Mike Watson so very, very nearly did just that. Yeah, but he, there, there are very little similarities between Jimenez and Watson. But Jimenez has not put any pressure on Eubank in the first round. Unlike Watson, who poured all over him like a sauce in the first round in the fight in White Hart Lane, he was on top of him constantly. This guy is tailor made for Eubank. Just use it as a nice boxing exhibition of boxing. He's uh, showing all his skills. He's walking forward. There's nothing there. He's a light puncher. He's a short puncher. And he's a big target. He's a big solid upper body. Good flurry from the challenger. <laughs> Defending well, holding the gloves high. Peekaboo style. Yeah, you can see he's a tough guy. He's durable and he's got a strong neck and a strong upper body. I'm sure that he can absorb the punch very well. He's gone 10 rounds with Roberto Duran. That uh, underlines his pedigree. Yeah, but that was five years ago, Dave, and I'm sure the fights that he's have, had since have softened him up. He's got a, he's got a strong chin, there's no doubt, but if you can hit him on the button, he'll just fold up like an accordion. Well, he was the number one challenger when Eubank and Mike Watson moved up from middle to super middle. He got summarily dumped from the ratings. Gets his chance now. Tony Thornton was the mandatory challenger. He's had his chance. He's just taking his time at the moment, just moving around the ring. No urgency about his work at all. And he got a good shot. Sweeping left up the cliff. put his punches together a bit better, just shorter bursts of punches, quick, fast combination. Second round, drawing to its close, maybe Eubank just about shaded this round. <laughs> 